Gonna start with our, um, one of my favourites, Le Oulon. I haven't had this character for a while, so... Let's see his new mechanics. One of my favourite characters, Jackie Chan, kind of inspired. Love the drunken style. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. There he is. Here we go where... Oh, huh, interesting. Interesting new outfits. I think I'll do this one. And we're going to have him as an opponent. Let's do martial law. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee versus Jackie Chan. <laughs> okay. I've literally just purchased the Season 2 pass, so uh, I've had uh, Lei Unon in my roster. Um, so I thought, you know, let's have a good play with him. Negan Stage, Last Day on Earth. Nice. Definitely one of my favourite characters. Just because of the variety of different like styles he's got in his five animal kind of martial arts system. You've got the drunken style, you've got the crane, you've got the snake, you've got the tiger, you know, you got he's got eagle, I believe. You've got different um you know, Shaolin fists or Kung Fu fists in his um repertoire, so it's really good. Love this stage as well. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, you obviously know this stage. Negan. See, from that position, I wouldn't get up. <laughs> he took the back. He managed to take the back from that that easily. Keep the back. <laughs> That's just my jiu-jitsu training coming into my mentality, Tekken mentality. <laughs> There we go. Bit of snake. Bit of drunken. Alright. Nice. Nice. Nice psychic from the war. Very Bruce Lee esque. Love those combos, man. Those five animal combos that he has is just so good. Give me that psychic. Take that. As you can tell, my favourite style is the drunken. It's so unpredictable. Have you seen Jackie Chan's Drunken Master? Be a big fan of that. Oh, nice. These two, definitely two of the most stylish characters in the Tekken lore. Stop. Look at that. It's like fight choreography here. Look at that. It's all about the movement. He does like that uppercut. The Leulon. Well, I mean ma martial law. The movements are a little bit different. Um, the controls are a little bit different from what I remember from Lei. Because the last Tekken game I played, I didn't really play um, Tekken Six. I mean, I played it in the arcades um, when it first came out, but I didn't really. Um, I didn't have a console at that time, so I didn't really play it too tough. The last um, Tekken game I played was Tekken Five. So they have actually changed his game mechanics quite a lot, I'm noticing. I do like it. 
just a bit getting used to because there's a few um, combos and moves that I'm used to doing but they've changed it a little bit I mean comment let me know what you think if you're a lay if you're a lay person <laughs> time that psychic quite nicely actually time that net break As I was saying the other day, I'm more of a counter-attacking player, so I like to try and counter-attack. As opposed to too, too much blocking. So you got to watch that move, because it's on the way down that he gets you. You know what I mean? He does so many flip kicks, so you got to be wary of the, some of those moves. It's a really good one where Law actually does a backflip, and then he doesn't do anything but it's on the way down he comes in and kick does a kick some crane these guys are throwing themselves on the ground a lot eh? They like the dubstep music in uh, their Tekken music library, don't they? A lot of dubstep kind of tracks. <laughs> I like that jump, double jumping kick, man. Yeah. Very kung fu. Hey, classic. I love going low like that because it's very hard to um it's hard to deal with. Very nice kick. Boom. They used to be able to block those uh, charges, the barges. That was one of my favourite combos there, where you start to do those low punches, and then he gets into the stances. Nice little foot stomp. So that move leaves you a bit vulnerable. So obviously you're showing your back to your opponent. Do like that combination. Nice. <laughs> we have the five animal combos. There we go. Oh, he got me with the punch. Just as I was in my flow. Nice. Snake. Snake and Eagle Shadow. It's one of my favourite Jackie Chan films, actually. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. Got a review on the channel, actually, of that. So if you haven't seen that, uh, take, give that a little watch. Um, just a little rundown of that film. One of my favourite Jackie Chan films of all time, actually. I think I might actually like it more than Drunken Master. Actually, no. <laughs> Drunken Master's a classic, but... As you can see, Lay's inspired by all of those. Snake, Drunken, Tiger, Crane. Phoenix, I believe, as well.
Net break. Okay, let's look at, look at his move list. Because I know he's got some good moves. Move. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> very nice. That that was very nice. Let's see what else we got. Do you like that? During rage, during dragon. Okay, dragon fist. That's what that is. This. Okay. H5. Crane. <laughs> Seven strike. Okay. So snake strikes. Yeah, simple. High low. Good combo. Those tornado kicks are nice. Being sweep. Yep, we know that one. That combo is nice. Classic combo. And kick that mid low combo. This is good. It leads into the um, the styles as you can see, like the crane there, dancing cobra, uh, uppercut, spin and kick. Oh, how did he finish that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, simple. Double jab. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that's for me. Cannonball, I've got. Nice. Done that one already. Nice. Falling tree. Popping crane. Yeah, comet kick. I do like this one. Very aesthetically pleasing. Snake rush. Boom, boom. It's a dragon. Is that panther? Tiger? See, this Raging Rush is where all the combos come in. Because it goes into all the animal stars from there. Alright, Defense Breaker. Warland Dragon. Let's check out some combos. He's got some of the nicest combos I think in the game, but like just aesthetically pleasing wise. You see that? Just the way he switches like fists. You go drunken to the high kicks, low kick, boom, drunken, nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Six hit combo. Crane. There's some snake strikes in there. Sample eight hit combo nine. I love the way he's got time to kind of move into his stance, you know? Get into the tiger. Woo! 48 damage. Low. Nice. Oh, 
Okay. Let's, um... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's play some arcade with Lei. Test him against the machine. Test him against different characters. Change the outfit. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. What do we want? That's an interesting one, but I want to see his face. That's classic. So uh, swap for so we should then cover the end of mask covering his entire face. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. What was that one? We'll do that one. Different outfit. Used to the classic. Like I said, Lei is one of my favorite characters. He came into Tekken and was it Tekken Two? And uh, yeah, just the inspiration in Jackie Chan was just amazing. This guy Bob is really good as well. Big guy can move. For me, he kind of reminds me of Sammo Hung. Obviously, he doesn't look like Sammo Hung, <laughs> but big guy who can move really athletically. So, promotion match straight away. All right. Now, let the show begin. Two very athletic guys. Fight. Athletic moving, anyway. <laughs> KO. Round two. Fight. All right. We know you can move too, Bob. <laughs> Boom. Snake. Dragon! Oh! Nice! Lovely finishing move there. Bit hard to take his back. <laughs> All that back he's got. <laughs> One of my favorite combos. Into Drunken Fist. Thrown into the air. Nice. He didn't see that coming, did he? Snake. Crane. Tiger. <laughs> like that. You're not good enough. Negan. Last day on Earth. No, I played with Negan the other day. He's actually pretty decent. You know, I thought he wasn't a great character before, but yeah, he's pretty decent in Tekken. Great character, obviously, in Walking Dead, but yeah, he's 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 pretty good character in this as well. If you get the hang of his moves, so Lucille, I'll beat you up in your own backyard, mate. Got your shitting pants on. <laughs> Round one. Fight. No. God damn. That's right. That's right. Be up in front of your own men. Now nah, what? You're under arrest. <laughs> Getting up from that. Boom. He gets his neck broken and he's like, God damn! <laughs> Boom! See you later. Round three. Fight. Oh, 
Boom. Was I ready for that, were ya? Were ya? You're not good enough. Exactly. Who's next? Who's next? Get ready for the next battle. Harang. Harang again is my probably my best character, my favourite character, my best character in this. Um I'll I'll do a little run with Harang um maybe later on next next week or something. But yeah, really enjoy playing with him. He's the one I've got the furthest with. And uh yeah. Probably my favourite character in Tekken. Love all these characters, there's so many great characters in Tekken. <laughs> Drunken Master this is the Taekwondo Master. Round one. Just don't get the eye patch there. Don't know what happened to him. Well, he needs an eye patch. Look, oh, that's just a style thing. Do love this stage. But who arms new stage? Big dubstep with the. <laughs> With the uh, Thai music, I absolutely love it, as I've mentioned a few times. <laughs> okay, Harang, take that! Not ready. Yeah, that move there you just did, one of my favourite moves to do actually with Harang. But you get a triple tornado kick, and I'm gonna lie down and just take the mick. And the pace changes. Woo! Wrong way. Wrong way. Nope. Oh, you got me. Oops. See, what was the point of that? Do the tackle, and it didn't finish me off. You win. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. Heiachi Mishima. Right. Let's make this quick, Heiachi. Nice and quick. Lei is just, he's just a great character to play with. Like I said, he's got so many different mm -hmm. styles, so he's just great to play with. Really good character to play with. Athletic. He's got the five animal style. Gets the Karate Master. And Mishima style. More brute force. I love doing those kick ups. Boom! Give me a little barge. Ah. Uh, gotta be careful not to lose it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I was teasing them a little bit. Nope. Nope. I do love the drunken style. Just beat someone up by looking drunk. It's just <laughs> such a great system of fighting. Like I said, Jackie Chan. Try harder. <laughs> We're gonna give you a round here, actually. Not the rounds. Not the rounds. Let's give him the dragon there. Neck break. Let's finish with the drunken fist. Nor the rounds. <laughs> A 
to bring the comedy in. I hate this woman, she's so annoying. One round and she has to go turbocharged. So annoying. And she's got a tiger as well to help her out. I like it when we have to face Akuma. Akuma is a, a better foe, you know? Fights with honor, you know? Wants to test his martial skills. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not a big fan of this uh, boss. You're gonna die, woman. Let's go. It's doing an unblockable there. Didn't quite work on her though. It's blocking business. Yep. Tiger comes into play. Come on, Lei. Ah. Round two. Right, they're messing around now. See, I ain't turbocharging. I'm only gonna turbocharge with the kung fu. I'm gonna kick your ass on it. Nope. Yeah, sending this tiger this way. Neck break. She got, she got him quick from that neck break, didn't she? Nope. Stop. Stop. Just stop. I ain't finished with you. See, I have to power up. I lost a round. And you see me powering up. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can beat her up in the drunken style, even when she's powered up. Hey, he's ready to go. Snake to the face. See, I hate that move because you can't do anything about it. Even that one, you don't really see coming. She just constantly does that. Floating around. Here it comes, yep. So you can't do anything about that one. It's very annoying. Because she floats away so far, so it's quite hard to kind of catch her. Ah! You lose. Hey, except no fate. Continue. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oops, what am I doing? One, what am I doing? Zero. Game over. What? Wasn't able to continue. Ah, that was annoying. Okay. We're going to do that again. In fact, what we'll do... Yeah, we show someone... If you're on... Uh, listen, if you're online you want to play some Tekken right now... Drop me a hint, man. Drop me a message. Let's do it. But... I'm going to do some treasure battle. I don't know what happened there, I was actually trying to continue, but it didn't quite work. Anyway, we finished with Lei Yap. Let's change the outfit, that's a classic. Classic Kung Fu outfit. They've made him a little bit more comedic in this, I notice, you know? Like some celebration, like hitting the camera, things like that. But then, obviously, again, inspired by Jackie Chan, so you are going to have that kung fu comedy element to him. The load times on these is so slow. On this treasure battle thing, it's quite annoying. Come on. Stream is live. Stream is live. Round one. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. As Julia was saying, we're live. Nope. I'll do that when I'm on the ground, love.
What is that she's on her head? Woohoo! Ooh, she wasn't ready for that, was she? Counter! Like I said, I'm a, more of a counter attacker, so I do, like, waiting for the strikes, you know? Who did I win? Mask. Okay, Claudio. I've been winning a lot of things for Claudio lately, when I'm doing these treasure battles. To see some more stuff from uh, for some of the other characters. Mind you, there's such a big roster on Tekken. Like, there's so many characters I haven't played as. Miguel, I do like this guy. He's got such a nonchalant style, especially compared to someone like Lei. Woo! Nice dodge. Down you go. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Love that combo. Beautiful. You're not good enough. That's right. I said, Lay's got some great combos. If you can just kind of get a mesh with his styles, you can really pull off some really good combos. Like between all the different fists, like I say, you bring in the tiger, you bring in the crane, you bring in the snake, you know, the dragon, obviously the drunken. He's got some really nice kind of combinations. So, you know. Hey, Lawrence, what's happening? Good to see you on here. No, you're a Tekken head. Mate, if you have Tekken, let's play. Let's play. There's so many people that I know have got a PlayStation. Boom! See you later, Craig. So many people got a PlayStation, but not enough people actually play Tekken that I know of. Obviously, it's a popular game, but people I know just, just don't play it as much. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not Tiger Star, you're not interested. <laughs> yeah, mate. That's right. But I'm, I'm more of a drunken, drunken style, really, myself, my friend. You're a PC player. Uh, not really me. I'm not really much of a, a a PC guy, to be honest, man. I'm more of a console guy, so I'm all about the PlayStation. But um, were you playing on PC anyway? Cause you ain't got Tekken on PC. Come on, man. You can't play as your man Harang, the Taekwondo guy. See you later. Lee, Lee's good as well. He's got some nice kicks. Do 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 do. You got it on PC. I didn't know Tekken 7 was on PC. For some reason, I thought it was only available on um, on PlayStation. Round two. Fight. You can't do cross-plays, can you? Where you can play people from... No, I know you can't, actually. Can't play PC... Uh, PlayStation guys can't play PC guys. I think they can do that only on like games like Fortnite, as far as I'm aware. Oh. Ooh, bam! Come on! Come on! Bam! Boom! Listen, that's how you finish a match. That is how you finish a match. Boom! <laughs> is that a couple years ago? Yeah, no crossplay. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's unfortunate, man. Dude, just get a PlayStation, man. Get a PlayStation and we can play. It's all about PlayStation. <laughs> God of War. 
Just for God of War, you need to get it just for God of War or Uncharted. Uncharted is an amazing game. I literally just bought that the other day. Oh, I did. I, I realized it's actually on PlayStation Plus, which I'm a member of. And it's coming out on um, Tuesday. Absolute epic. From what I've seen anyway, because I haven't actually played it. That and The Last of Us. But God of War alone. Yeah, mate. I mean, you might as well. Like, this isolation, we don't know how long it's going to last. So, you know. Fight. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't last too long, because, like, once it's over, I think we're all going to be happy to see each other, you know. We're going to have one big party outside. <laughs> might be all tickened out. Perfect! Perfect! Fight. It's perfect myself. Two mystery chess boxes. Uh, yeah, I'm actually keeping up with the training indoors, mate. Um, our jiu-jitsu um, our jiu -jitsu's club's actually doing an online training, so coach is through Zoom. So he's watching us as we train at home. And yeah, the training's been pretty hard. Pretty hardcore. Kind of injured my knee. Um, had a knee injury uh, from a couple of weeks ago. Thought I was healed, but we started doing the training, and, and it was kind of aggravating me a little bit. So I had to um, just give it a miss this week. You? How about you, mate? You doing your taekwondo? You still training taekwondo, and are you doing it indoors? <laughs> I've actually been practicing some kicks indoors as well, some high kicks. Oh, for rehab. Yeah, got. That's what I'm doing. But look, I'm missing the gym. I really am missing. I was already. Listen, it was funny because I got injured just before this whole quarantine thing happened. Then I thought, alright, I'm just gonna get on the weights. Yeah, they got some good online classes, mate. A lot of um, the jiu-jitsu guys, anyway, have been giving away their classes for free. So, yeah, it's been really good. You got a small space. <laughs> you got a garden. You got a garden, man. Can't like let those um, kicks go. You know that that kick that you do that I really like, uh, the split kick. Man, can you still do that? Because you know. You gotta keep fresh with your kicks, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You know what I'm really annoyed about? Talking about pro martial artists. The fact that Habib, um, Tony Ferguson's been cancelled again. You know, again. Like, if it isn't Tony Ferguson tripping over a wire or Habib some crazy weight cut thing then it's the coronavirus oh so annoying i know i know yeah it is cursed but that fight needs to happen i think i think the reason why it's taken so long for that fight to happen is basically because um it's going to be such an amazing fight but you know what really annoyed me the fact that he habib was fighting connor on the same card on the same card then Ferguson's fighting, um, what's his name, Pettis, which was a great fight, but really, like, they were both on the same card. That was when they should have been fighting, not Conor McGregor. Like, Conor McGregor shouldn't have been fighting Habib. <laughs> He's not a match for him, you know? I'm not, you know, I was a Conor fan for a while, not so much now, but, you know. You're not good enough. <laughs> Yeah, um, Tony Pettis. Tony Pettis was a great fight. Great, it was a great fight, but I would have preferred on that card the fact that they were both healthy. If that fight had happened, you know what I mean? Zero decided to see Habib and Connor again. Yeah, me too. Because we already saw it, I and mean, he dominated. Like he dominates everyone, you know. It's funny because, like, obviously a lot of the mainstream audience were really shocked by that, but obviously us MMA fans know what's going to happen with that, you know. So, we don't need to see that fight again. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing it again because I wouldn't mind seeing Habib give him another beating, but we need to see Ferguson. 
Habib. Please. Please. I saw a really good simulation actually on a UFC uh, UFC three. Do you know how they do those simulations? And uh, they showed a really interesting simulation of uh, Habib versus Ferguson, which was so epic. It, it was really good. I was like, man, if that fight was anything like that, it would have been really good. But we'll see. You reckon Connor beats Tony as well? Uh, Ferguson is definitely um, Habib's hardest test. Yep, definitely. But you reckon Connor beats um, Tony? I don't know about that. <laughs> Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I think um, that dash choke would have given um, or will give Habib some problems. So, Connor beats Tony, Tony beats Habib. I don't know, man. I disagree. I think... I think Tony would destroy Connor. Like, he wouldn't be able to handle his pace. And also, the ground game. That, like you said, that 10th planet GBJJ, Connor can't handle that. So... Tony gets um, hit bit too much yeah maybe but he's can I think he's got a bit of a he can take it though that's the thing he's got a chin on him I think it's just like with when um, Tony sorry when uh, Habib fought uh, Connor what would need to happen I think in that fight with Tony um, Connor is Connor would need to get that knockout blow like what I'm about to do with lay right now boom come on boom 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 like that. Boom! <laughs> That's what Connor would need to do. <laughs> uh, everyone else has fought. Habib has tried to get back to their feet when taken down. Tony will love it. Yeah, I think... I think that's where Tony shines. I think he, he can handle the adver... I think he can handle the adversity probably better than anyone. Because he's such a slippery character. He's just like... He's hard to predict, you know? You're not good enough. You're doing work. You're doing work on these guys. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Listen, I'd love to see someone like, um, Lay in the year. Uh, Oi! There's or oh, Eddie Bravo, uh, um, Eddie Gordo. <laughs> some capoeira in the UFC. See some capoeira MMA fighters. There was a really nice um, Mayo Lua kick knockout that um, one of these capoeira guys did in um, one of these amateur MMA fights, um, and he did it a couple of times actually. That's such a deadly kick. I've seen Conor McGregor try and do it, and a few other UFC fighters, but to see a proper capoeirist kind of in the UFC pulling off that move be really nice boom see you later Eddie Round two. unfortunately Fight. also getting a bit older now how old is, um, how old is he are you talking about um, Ferguson I, I don't think Ferguson's that old I think he's like 34 something like that but he's he I don't think it really matters to be honest he's such a you seen that guy train like he and the way he fights he just doesn't get tired so you know 36 really oh, I thought he was 34 but I think he's still got a few more years in him but either way he has to fight um, Habib and I think Habib needs that fight to happen anyway because it's always that oh can you beat could you beat can you beat um Ferguson? You know, you beat all these other guys, but you never got to beat Ferguson. You know. I think I'm about to lose to Eddie Gordo on a promotion. Alright, this is the Capoista. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's an animal, but injuries. Both of us aren't so young anymore, you know how it is. Don't just bounce back from the injuries now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It, it does take a little longer to recover, I noticed that. <laughs> but 
We gotta keep going, mate. We gotta keep going, you know. Same way I'm with Lay now. I mean, I lost to, to another one of my favourite characters, Eddie Gordo. But let's keep going. By the way, mate, uh, Lawrence, who's your favourite Tekken character? See you later. Round two. Fight. Baku tells him, yeah, man. I don't know why they didn't include him in some of the later Tekkens, like this one. Like, obviously Harang's great, but I liked Be Beiku Tosan as well, man. Such a great character. Because obviously he was um, Harang's master, you know? For characters still in the game, Beiku, yeah. But my best uh, for competitive play is Lee. Yeah, Lee's a good character, yeah. I was mentioning before, like, those kicks he's got are just deadly. Oh, Horang's still in the game, yeah, yeah. But Beiku Tosan, I don't know why they stopped with him. Like, he's such a great character. Such a great... And I think, I don't know, from a Taekwondo... Obviously, you're a Taekwondo practitioner. I've never trained Taekwondo. Like, out of the two, who do you think's closest to, like, a realistic Taekwondo style? That's my Taekwondo style too. Oh, okay. WT star. Uh, what's WT? World Taekwondo? Sorry. Boom! See ya! Beku is a WT star. Uh, what you see in the Olympics. Okay, that's probably why I really like it. Because um, it just seems more... Well, I've, I felt like it was more realistic. Um, his fighting style. Because it's what I'm used to seeing when I watch the Olympic guys, so that makes sense. So what style is um, uh, Horang then? Promoted to first Kui. Kai. Um, Horang is ITF style. It has more face punching, more lead leg work. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I did notice that, obviously, because... Um, obviously, Beiku Tosan's kicks are a lot more... I feel they're a lot more um, extravagant, in a way. Well, I don't know. I just prefer that style anyway. just looks, looks nicer. Even though, like I said, Horang's my favourite character in this. And he has some really nice, really nice kick work. To be honest, the WT style isn't like what Beku does in the game. Uh, WT changed so much in the last five years to keep up with the Olympic rules. Oh, okay. Have you done both styles then? Yourself, as a Taekwondo practitioner? Or you just do the... The one. Because me, when I did a uh, capoeira, I did both the Hejinao style and the um, Angola style. But Hejinao's more um, like we see in, in Eddie um, Eddie Gordo in this game. It's more extravagant, more combat based. Um, with the Angola style, it's a little bit slower, a little bit more um, uh, intricate style. Okay. Or worse as well. Okay. Uh, that's a shame. When you say for the worst, you mean like more watered down. Cause that can be a problem when martial arts get too uh, popular. Like obviously Taekwondo is a popular martial art. Yeah, I'm a first stand in both. Oh, nice. I did um, ITF when I was younger. Then I moved to Bristol. Started WT. That's where I met Kyle. Ah, oh, Kyle. Yeah, 100% ward down. Yeah. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. That's that's what happens to the popular martial arts, man. Speaking of which, man, you've spoken to Kyle and Kyle. How are they doing? Not spoken to those guys in a long time. 
Like the judo in the Olympics, that's where it took out the attack in the legs, yeah. Yeah, as things become more mainstream, they do get a bit watered down, unfortunately, sometimes. So I hope it doesn't happen to uh, BJJ. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't happen to BJJ. Doubt it, because it's very much in the BJJ culture. I don't think not to water it down, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, Carl lives near you. Oh, cool. Nice. How's he doing? Now you use on the stream these um I was speaking with my man Lawrence. He's a great Taekwondo practitioner. Tekken head as well, you know. See the reason why we like these this game is because it is so close to real martial arts, you know. Carl I've not spoken to in a long while. Okay. Let's touch, I'll be less bristol. Oh, okay. Yeah, not spoken to the old crew in a long time. The Warrior Dynamics crew. By the way, if you're into martial arts stunts, uh, check out the Warrior Dynamics channel. Um, Lawrence and I, we were part of a team for a lot of the guys we trained in in China. Uh, just meet up every three months or so, do like martial arts choreography, you know, a little bit of training. Obviously inspired by all the movies we watch. From The Matrix to you know, Drunken Master to Tekken, you know? <laughs> You know, um, just putting it on film. Obviously, as a filmmaker, just a you know, martial artist, that I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed those sessions we did. You know, um, really did. Getting the flow relay, man. Just um, like I said, the controls are a little bit different. They've Added, they've, they've changed it a little bit from what it was from like what I remember in Tekken 5 um, just some of the movements um, some of the combinations some of the button combinations for some of the movements so a little bit different but still really enjoying the gameplay <laughs> ooh like this music very um classical we came back to the other day from the bus yeah. To the academy singing the songs with Dale, yeah. <laughs> Dale was a joker. <laughs> Tang Su do massive, yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. Those were good times. Capoeira massive, wicked, wicked. <laughs> Capoeira massive, wicked, wicked. <laughs> Tang Su do massive, wicked, wicked. Taekwondo massive. See, we appreciate all that. What I love is like we when we came together, like because obviously we all came from different martial arts background. All met in Kuyung Chan um, to do Shaolin Kung Fu. Um, just for you guys in the stream, um, like I said, I'm talking to my, my friend Lawrence, and um, we met. You know, we're all a lot of us from the UK, um, but we met. Oh, I just got beaten by Bob. That was nice, but um, we met in China and. Um, we all came from different martial arts uh, backgrounds, so but we all learnt from each other, man. Like just different from different styles that we practice, you know. So <laughs> your style, uh, your style was your identity. <laughs> true, true. It was, but at the same time, I don't know. For me, I'm I'm very. Um, Jack of all trades, master of none. So I've done a lot of different uh, styles. So I was never as good at one style because you know I did my um, karate, did uh, capoeira, did anis, um, obviously kung fu. You know now with the Brazilian jiu jitsu, muay thai. You know, but I'm more focusing on uh, jiu jitsu now. So trying to get like you. Like you, Lawrence, like just be a master of like one martial art. But being a jack of all trades is good because at the same time it makes you quite malleable. So you're able to kind of ad adapt to different things. So, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I mean, we're not a little clear our, our Star Wars our identity. <laughs> uh, we knew you as the crazy cat, the taekwondo guy. <laughs> You know, 
watching your BJJ tournament videos you're doing well it's awesome thank you man I really appreciate that I really appreciate that um, just trying to like document what the journey you know uh, from white belt to black belt um, again for you guys you guys listening on the stream um, I've got another channel called Aston Regis uh, BJJ diary where I just document my uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu journey um, just do a There's weekly more. video diary um, of everything uh, we've been learning, you know, because um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, there's so many different um, movements to learn, so much, you know, and I've been training for three and a half years now, um, I'm a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu, and getting that blue belt was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, you know, um, you, get, you gotta get beaten up by a lot of people, you know, um, just to get that blue belt, you know. Um, but I'm just starting with that. I'm just starting on that journey. So I hope to obviously document as much as possible with uh, the Jiu Jitsu. But yeah, Lawrence, I appreciate the love, man. And I keep making. Um, I've actually been editing a video today uh, that I had done just before I got injured. Because I was a bit. Um, bit slow with the editing because I had a lot of work to do but now obviously I've had time I've got time to work on it so um, I'll be publishing that this weekend so keep your eyes peeled <laughs> bro I've got, I've got to go now we're catching up once the stop that's over come down to London and we'll catch up oh yes definitely mate take care stay safe I hope uh, everything's well with the family and uh, thanks for joining the stream man That's what I love about the internet, man. You just can catch up with old friends, you know. Anyway, Bob's dressed like a samurai. I just love the way this is a big. He's such a big guy, but he moves so well, you know. <laughs> so cool. No, you don't. Let's get this promotion to first down. Come on. Or second down, should I say? I'm already at first down. Boom! Listen, from experience, to grab a big guy like that, take him, take his back. It's pretty hard. <laughs> but I do like the way they, they does that. Again, like, I've got such a like good roster of characters that I enjoy playing with. Lei is one of those characters. I just love his style. I love the fact, the, the way he flows, you see? Hey! Bear versus the tiger. Uh, Round two. I hate getting beaten up by this bear because he just seems like such a comical character. Kuma. Kuma and Panda. Nope. Ah, and I got destroyed and finished by a bear wearing silly glasses to end it. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So, I think I'm going to call this a day. Enjoy playing Tekken with you guys. And uh, definitely watch out for the channel. I'll have some more runs with uh, Lei Ulon. I'll probably play a bit of God of War later, so stay tuned for that, and uh, stay safe. Thanks for joining the stream. Peace!